All right. So far we've talked a lot about multiplying and dividing fractions, and we've said nothing at all about addition and subtraction. Why is that? Well, multiplication and division of fractions had some really interesting structure to it. Addition and subtraction of fractions, it turns out, is super tedious. This makes a certain amount of sense Remember that fractions were put together out of division, and division is really the same thing as multiplication. So multiplication and fractions being friends makes sense. Multiplication and addition are different, so addition and fractions are not friends. But let's see what addition of fractions looks like, and subtraction as well. Let's suppose we want to add 3 fifths plus 8 fifths. Well, that's actually pretty easy. Why? Remember what a fifth is. A fifth is a thing. So just in the same way that 3 squares plus 8 squares is 11 squares, or 3 minutes plus 8 minutes is 11 minutes. Well, we see that 3 fifths plus 8 fifths is 11 fifths. Right, when we have the same denominator, the denominator says what kind of thing we have. And what kind of thing we have doesn't change when we add. Subtraction is the same way, right? If we wanted to subtract 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, we would think 5 things called sevenths minus 2 things called sevenths gives us 3 things called sevenths. In either case, we add or subtract the numerators, we leave the denominators alone. Okay, but that required that we had the same kind of things. What if we don't have the same kind of things? What if we want to add, for example, 9 eighths plus 5 twelfths? Hmm. So we're adding. 9 eighths plus 5 twelfths, those are different nouns, right? We cannot add counts of different kinds of things. We just can't do it. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. But it does make sense to take the quantity 9 eighths and the quantity 5 twelfths and, and put them together. Right? It does make sense to combine these. If I had 9 eighths of a pound of something and 5 twelfths of a pound of something, I could put them on the scale together and weigh it. So what can I do? The answer, of course, is that I need to rewrite these fractions so that I can make sense of adding them. I need to rewrite these fractions as like fractions. So I have 9 eighths and I have 5 twelfths. I want to multiply my numerator and denominator by the same thing. And I want to end up with the same denominator in each case. This looks like a job for a common multiple of 8 and 12. And now, just thinking through the list of multiples, it's pretty easy to see that my common multiple is going to be 24. Right? 24 is 8 times 3. 
and it's 12 times 2. If I multiplied my denominator by 3, I've got to do the same thing to the numerator. If I multiplied my denominator by 2, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. So my original addition problem can be rewritten as 27 20 fourths plus 10 20 fourths. These are now the same kind of thing, so it makes sense to add them. 27 plus 10 is 37, so I get 37 20 fourths. I could also do that addition on the calculator. Again, making sure to put my fractions in parentheses, I take 9 divided by 8 plus 5 divided by 12 and give the result as a fraction. What does that give me? Well, that gives me 37 24ths, just like I found by hand.